to Project Nuisis's proposal for a new digital media lab. Nuisis Public Library is located in a growing suburb of a little less than 20,000 people on the outskirts of Austin, Texas. Our library employs six full-time professional librarians, two part-time support staff for our youth services and reference librarians, and a wonderful group of frequent community volunteers. We currently feature a popular children's and young adults program, a well-trafficked website featuring a popular digital media page where we feature all things ebook, movie, music, and podcast, a local heritage room, a computer lab, makerspace, printing space, cafe, audiobooks and music section, adult and print reference, study and meeting rooms, a staff workroom, and a storage room. Texas is a growing college town. With Austin Community College and the University of Texas close by, our community is primarily made up of educators and their families and college students who are often priced out of Austin. It is easy to see why our primary industry is educational services and real estate. Our community values educational enrichment in all forms. Being so close to Austin, Nueces residents have a strong appreciation for the performing arts, and many of our community members are involved in local theater companies, music programs, and local bands. Or they may simply enjoy catching performances from the audience. Luckily, our library staff often partners with these talented community members to bring these enriching performances to our patrons. Meet David. David is a 22-year-old male. He is currently enrolled in Austin Community College and is living at home in Nueces with his parents and three younger rambunctious siblings while pursuing his degree. Although David is a college student and doesn't feel living at home with his parents and noisy siblings is ideal, he has lots of love for his hometown and values Nueces' people, history, and tenacity. David is a busy guy in his community. He works part-time at a locally owned coffee shop he is a talented saxophonist and plays in a local band. He maintains a website and podcast featuring local talent and favorite musicians, and he volunteers at a local theater company working set design and sound production. David values creativity, innovation, and self-expression. Now that we have told you about our library and the community we serve, we would like to discuss what is missing. Our patrons would really benefit from a digital media lab space in their public library a soundproof space to self-record and edit vocal tracks, lectures, one or two piece musical performances, and podcasts. The performing and visual arts are very important in our community and library and are well represented in our programming, but we currently lack the budget and materials to provide patrons with a dedicated space where they can pursue these interests in a fulfilling and self-directed manner. Makerspaces such as audio video recording studios are becoming a prominent feature of modern libraries. In one article exploring the transformation and revitalization of library spaces, the author states that these libraries are being designed with experiences in mind and that they must constantly look for innovative ways of doing more with less as budgets often fail to keep pace with needs. Additionally, Pierce notes that repurposing an existing space is another creative way that libraries can expand their footprint while saving money. Similarly, in another article examining the early makerspace movement, the authors highlight the flexibility of these spaces in both the physical and budgetary aspect. Lastly, in an article from the Library Quarterly, authors Lai and Todd reveal findings that show that young people, when given the opportunity, are motivated to engage in makerspaces such as a digital media lab and explore personal interests. SWOT analysis and our results are as follows. For strengths, we have an available 12 by 8 room for a digital media lab located near the back of the library with a desk and two chairs. We have Adobe Creative Cloud and a color printer, which we use to create marketing materials for our successful programs and spaces. We have a popular digital media blog on our website and a virtual jukebox where we highlight local musicians. The performing and visual arts are well represented in our current programming. Our stakeholders value creative expression and support our mission. And we have an employee who is knowledgeable about the software and hardware, can make our orientation video, train staff, and troubleshoot tech issues. For weaknesses, we do not currently have the budget to provide our patrons with a digital media room. Several staff members and volunteers will need training to best serve patrons in the digital media lab. Having only one employee shared with the city train our staff to use and maintain equipment and software might impact our timeline. We haven't properly tested the area for improved soundproofing with the wall tiles. And the mandatory one-hour orientation and policy agreement 
could potentially deter some patrons from reserving the space. For opportunities, of course, the best opportunity is this wonderful grant. We have a vibrant local music scene with several musicians, podcasters, and educators looking for a quiet, inexpensive place to record. The only other recording space available in the community is located at the college, and it's reserved for students only, and it's consistently booked. There is a private recording space located quite a distance from Nuasis, and it's quite expensive. Potential collaboration with local press and media outlets and local music schools to market our new space to members of the community and potential for increased patronage as the only library in the surrounding area offering a recording and editing space. For threats, a recent increase in crime in the community is a potential concern as the lab contains valuable equipment and is located near an exterior door at the back of the library. Also, patrons violating our policies when using the digital media lab or damaging equipment. We adhere to the values of the American Library Association. Therefore, our mission is to provide the community with a vibrant environment where all patrons have lifelong access to a variety of materials and services needed to expand their knowledge. We are dedicated to serving and supporting patrons in their pursuit of any educational or creative interest. As librarians, we enjoy brainstorming ways to best serve the interests and needs of our community. We strongly believe a digital media lab will serve our patrons well and are excited to share with you our proposed vision for the space. On the next few slides, we will outline our plan for implementing, marketing, and maintaining a successful digital media lab in our library. Our digital media lab will be located in an available 12 by 8 room at the back of the library. This room currently has a desk and two ergonomic chairs we can use in the lab. We also have a mic we use for performances in the library, and patrons could use this in the space when needed. We would need to purchase a stool for musicians and install soundproofing wall tiles and a seal to the door and walls. To secure the equipment, we would keep the lab locked in between reservations and any time the library is closed. Patrons would be required to reserve the space three days in advance for up to two hours, attend a one-hour scheduled orientation, sign an agreement outlining the rules when using this space, and arrive 15 minutes prior to their reservation to check in with library staff so they can quickly review the basic features of the equipment and answer any other questions. Patrons need to bring a flash drive with them to save their recording, but if they don't have one, we will have some available at the reference desk for $5. A technical services employee shared with the city is knowledgeable about the software and hardware we want to offer in the lab, will make our digital media lab orientation video for patrons, and will create an instructional video for current and future staff and regular volunteers, detailing how to use the equipment and providing troubleshooting tips. The tech specialist is also scheduled to provide an in-person run-through for staff in the days leading up to our sneak peek event for stakeholders. In terms of tech materials, we would need to purchase a one refurbished 27-inch iMac, a road bundle featuring a condenser microphone, headphones, MIDI controller, boom mic stand, and a headphone extension cable, a Canon EOS Rebel camera, a green screen, two ring lights, and a music stand. In terms of software, we would set up the program Audacity, which is an open source digital audio recording and editing app. In addition, we already use Adobe Creative Suite for our marketing materials, so our patrons would have access to this software, which includes Audition. We developed a proposed budget for our project. The details are as follows. We would need 13 packs of acoustic panels to cover the walls and doors of the room, a soundproofing strip or seal for the door, a refurbished 27-inch iMac, Rode Vocalist Bundle, Canon Rebel Camera with Charging Kit, Green Screen, Set of Two Ring Lights, flash drives available for purchase, musician's stool, music stand. Finally, on our proposed budget, the sneak peek event for stakeholders. We would need to purchase food, drinks, and paper goods for this event, totaling $200. The grand total with tax is $4,974.97. We have developed a timeline for our project. The room will be closed a little over a month as we prepare the space. We will allow 20 days for shipping of all equipment and materials, as this is not completely within our control. Five days to clean and prep the space, 
10 days for the installation of the equipment and materials, 20 days for training our staff and volunteers. And of course, ramp up marketing for our sneak peek event for our stakeholders before the official launch of our program on October 25th. Take a multifaceted approach to marketing this space. First, we will advertise the lab online. We will highlight our lab on our website, digital media blog, and social media pages in the weeks leading up to the launch and beyond. We will also ask local podcasters who are regular patrons and have been requesting a recording space to use their platform to promote our new digital media lab. We will email the editors of an online publication, which features all things local music, and ask if they would be willing to feature our new space on their website. Our city issues a digital newsletter once a month via email, and we will ask them to include the details and progress on our new space and the newsletter in the months leading up to the debut. Then we will take a boots on the ground approach in the library and in the community. In the library, we will create bookmarks with eye-catching information about the new space and place them at the circulation desk and self-checkout kiosk. We will post colorful signage in the library near the entrance, informing patrons of the new space and where it is located. We will hand out flyers and make announcements to patrons in our makerspace each week and to our patrons attending our scheduled theater and musical performances leading up to the launch. We will host informal how-to sessions and tours each month for patrons who are interested in learning more about using the lab. In the community, we will reach out to local press and media outlets who often highlight local talent and opportunities to market our digital media lab to members of the community. We will visit the musical program director at the local community college and agree to advertise their program and summer camps in exchange for promoting our digital media lab to their music students. We will place flyers in local live music venues and coffee shops. We plan to collaborate with local private music schools and public school music teachers to get the word out about the library's new digital media lab. Finally, we will host a sneak peek event for our stakeholders. Prior to opening the digital media lab to all patrons, we will host an evening with light appetizers and desserts, followed by a musical performance by a local singer-songwriter, and enjoy some fun demonstrations in the new digital media lab. To measure the success of our digital media lab, we will collect both quantitative and qualitative data via usage rates, online survey, and focus groups. For usage, we will record the digital media lab usage data from patrons in the following three categories. One, patrons who complete orientation but don't follow through with a reservation or use. Two, patrons who booked a reservation but didn't follow through. And three, patrons who will follow through with all the required steps and use the lab. We will record this data each month and aim to increase the number of patrons in the lab category every month through a combination of marketing, exit survey data, and focus group data. For the survey, we will create a simple online exit survey to determine satisfaction with the lab with room for open suggestions. To encourage participation, we will offer participants three hour time slots for their next reservation and or a spot on our virtual jukebox or podcast shout out. We will review this data each month to measure how many patrons using the space are satisfied overall with what we offer in the Digital Media Lab. We will also consider all suggestions we obtain from the surveys. For the focus group, we will form a focus group of patrons who have attended our orientation for the lab, reserved the lab, or used the lab with the goal of obtaining qualitative data regarding how useful the space is to patrons, what works for them and what doesn't, and how we might improve the space to better serve them. We will obtain this useful data through interview sessions with the focus group. Let's evaluate our SMART goals. For specific, we have a detailed plan for our digital media lab to ensure success. We outline exactly what we will need, a timeline for implementation, and how we will market the space. For measurable, we will measure success through usage rates, exit survey, and a focus group. For actionable, we have determined the actions we need to take in order to achieve our goal and which resources we have and need to achieve success. For relevant, all of our actions will be purposeful at each stage of the project to ensure we achieve our ultimate goal. This space will be invaluable to our patrons and the effort and funds we put into the project will be well worth the return on investment. Time bound, we have determined a well-defined time frame for each stage of the project from prepping the room to completion.
Thank you for taking the time to learn about our library, and we hope that you will consider investing in a digital media lab for our patrons. We strive to provide our community with a variety of materials needed to continue in their pursuit of knowledge and opportunities for creative expression. This grant will help us achieve that goal.